So because I have had this game for somewhat a few weeks now, thanks to THQ Nordic and Experiment 101 allowing me to play the game early, I feel after using every class for a set amount of time, I'm in a great spot to give you a few recommendations when it comes to creating your biomutant character. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more by all mutant on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. So I've played this game for somewhat 3 weeks prior to its release day, it's an incredible open world game. Some of the most fun I have had and I've even taken it easy in terms of not rushing through it and I've played about with all classes for some time now and I've learned a lot playing the game and knowing what's best to go with and wow I feel this video may surprise some of you. So we will go from the start in terms of that character customization with Bio Mutant. So when creating your character you first get to pick from 6 breeds, Primal, Dumdun, Rex, Hyla, Fip and Mergel. Each of these breeds offer slightly different stats in terms of their vitality, strength, intellect, agility, charisma and luck. Now to tell you guys the truth here, these stats and the minor changes between each different breed are so minimal I wouldn't even fuss about this at all. In fact, just go with the one you feel looks the best and this isn't even a joke as when it comes to playing the full game, the way in which you can upgrade your character and stats, you will 100% forget what you actually started with. Now if I had to life or death pick one to go forward with, not based on locks and purely based on stats, I'd go with Merger due to boosting charisma and luck, mainly here though just for that luck due to slightly better crit chance and loot chances. Charisma within the next menu will drop anyway so having a boosted base stat thanks to Merger helps it not drop in too low. So when it comes to mutating your character, what I do here is build slightly into ability and strength, not too far, just slightly up right off the center. So we get a boost to agility and strength, two of in my opinion the best attributes to power up off the bat, as like I said these stats drastically change once you are in the full game and start leveling up. Now in terms of choosing your character's resistance, here guys I would leave it dead center, so you have a base 6% in each. Because again, if I'm honest, these can be leveled up relatively quick with by all points. And plus the fact you can find an equipped gear which offers resistance too, you will soon notice that the difference actually between 6 and 26% isn't anything massive at all. And if you did want to explore a certain area which had said negative effect, you will soon realise you will need to upgrade that certain negative effect, that resistance, up to a max of 100% which can be done relatively quickly. Now I know some people will be thinking well wouldn't it make sense to put your resistance into the first negative effect you will encounter, well although this would make sense, when playing you will instantly see that these areas are spread out everywhere and the first one you will encounter will no doubt be by accident. So to say put it into biohazard without knowing that's the first area you will visit, it doesn't make sense in that respect. So dead center here in my opinion is the best. So on to the class, now I've used every one of these for a decent period of time. I actually started out with the one I think most people will be drawn to and that is the PSI Freak. It's the obvious choice because of how cool it looks, while here I will state and this will surprise you, the spark ball is a complete waste. And I say this because you will quickly unlock and equip way better abilities and you will soon forget about this spark ball. And then you are left with nothing actually beneficial from this class. I mean yes the boost to Kai energy region is great, but what I learned quite quickly is as I actually leveled up intellect on this class quite high, yet at the same time using a lower level weapon, I was doing way more damage and had a much better effect for me in terms of taking down enemies quicker at the start of the game. Yes abilities are great and they truly assist you when playing, but when it comes to melee weapons and guns, abilities definitely feel weaker. Now with the PSI Freak in my opinion not being worth it, personally I'd say out of 5 it's between the Sabotoir and the Deadeye. Sabotoir is a great class if you feel you will like the Wong Fu system within this game, which I will say, close range combat can be a little hard to get used to at first, but once you master it you can be unstoppable with the correct weapons at hand. 
But for the early game and getting used to the game and how both melee weapons and guns work and feel, I do think Dead Eye offers better benefits when considering it's much easier to run and gun than it is to stand and fight with those melee weapons. I actually went from PSI Freak to Commando to the Sentinel to the Saboteur to the Dead Eye and then back to the Saboteur as I love that melee combat system. But that's from me playing for over a week and getting used to the combat system in this game. The Dead Eye Perfect Reload benefit though is great for newcomers at taking down those bigger enemies at a far without getting absolutely clattered. But for me, after playing with all of these, I'd definitely go with Saboteur. It just takes the crown here with its ability to wield two one-handed weapons, but also that dodge energy cost being reduced is also very, very beneficial. As in reality early on, even with the melee combat system, when you're getting used to it, the dodging from a distance and shooting those bigger enemies does indeed help a lot. So for me here personally, I'll go with Saboteur as I do feel when starting the game, it is probably the best all round. Now we know there is a 6th class called Mercenary which is a pre-order bonus or I believe you can purchase it after release. This class does have what the Saboteur offers in terms of being able to dual wield one handed melee weapons but also comes with Fury. Melee weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. This for me and loving the Wong Fu system within the game, if I had access to this within my early access I'd probably be telling you to use the Mercenary if you want to make the most out of the melee combat system within the game. But still if I have to give you guys my honest opinion, as obviously you're going to be new to this game and which would be the best all around class to use, I'd still go with the Saboteur. Again just for that dodge and a quicker cooldown on it. It really does help out when you're trying to dodge attacks at a far with a gun and shooting the enemy at the same time. So yes, even with the mercenary class, I'd still go with Saboteur. But that's just my opinion, people. But in reality, let's be honest with ourselves here, we all do play these kind of games differently. But this is just my advice when it comes to creating your character. And I hope it helps out for sure. So yeah, guys, that's my advice when it comes to creating a character going into the world of Bio Mutant. I'd still say though, in reality, whichever way you go, the pace in which you upgrade your character anyway, I don't feel there's actually a wrong choice here. They can all be great in their own right, and the individual benefits to each breed and class are in reality so minimal, in that end game I don't think you'll notice too much of a difference anyway. But yeah guys, I have been DPJ and this is my thoughts and advice on which way to go when creating a character for Bio Mutant. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.